Here's how to import a Spriter project into Construct 3. The first thing you'll want to do is choose File, Other File Actions, Custom Save Options in Spriter's menu and make sure all of the custom save options are checked on. Then you'll need to save or export your Spriter project in a specific way depending on which of the two possible Spriter modes you decide upon. The first mode uses multiple standard construct sprites to recreate your animations. This is especially useful if you want to apply independent shader effects to specific portions of your animated object. To import in this mode, save your Spriter project out in SCON format, then go to the project folder and select any image folders, sound folder, and the .scon file at the same time. Right click and choose send to compressed zipped folder, and name the zip file the same name as the Spriter file. Now all you have to do is drag this zipped folder into the layout you want your Spriter project to be in and the automatic import process will begin. Confirm any part of the process as required, and Construct3 will import all images and sounds, create the necessary collision rectangle sprites, and generate the necessary events for triggering the sounds. The second spriter mode option is called Draw Self and does not use standard Construct sprites at all. In this mode, you can't apply different effects to specific parts, but you can apply an effect over the entire object. This method is also better for game performance. This mode does require one more setup step in Spriter before export. Select the first animation and then click the small icon to bring up the custom trimming dialog. Select the Calculate Bounding Box from Frames option and choose to perform this process to either just the one animation, all animations in the currently selected entity, or all animations in all entities, then click Apply. Spriter will then create a custom bounding box for each animation based on its actual frames sizes. In Spriter, choose File Generate Sprite Sheets for Project Images, make sure Save as SCON and Save Sprite Sheeted Project are checked on, and click the small button with three dots to choose the base file name, create a new folder to save to, enter the desired name for your Spriter object, click Save, and then click OK. Go to the new folder you just exported to, and as before, select all the resulting files. An SEML file is not needed. Right click and choose Send to Compressed Zipped Folder, and name the resulting zip file the same name as the Spriter file. Drag that zip file into the desired layout and confirm you'd like to import if prompted. Now when you run the layout, the Spriter object should be visible with its first animation playing. If you go to the event sheet, you'll see that your Spriter object has events and actions very similar to a normal Construct Sprite. Upcoming videos will cover how to control your Spriter object in detail. Thanks very much for watching.